Cultural Heritage Imaging applied the photogrammetry technique to Diego Rivera's massive Pan American Unity mural, producing an 8 billion point 3D model. From that model, we created a map of the mural's surface shape and surface color, showing fine details, including Jornada and Pentimento. Because the pigments have to be applied into the fresh plaster, um, the artist and artist assistants can only apply uh, as much plaster as Diego Rivera could paint in one day. And because he was able to paint so quickly, um, the Jornata are actually relatively large um, compared to other artists. So there's no binding media like you would see in a typical oil painting or acrylic painting. Um, this enables the materials to be durable and last thousands of years. What is a giornata? Giornata in Italian means a day. And in this case, it means a day's work. So in the practice of fresco painting, a giornata means the amount of territory within a painting that the artist painted in one sitting, or in one day, or in one, one period of time when the plaster was wet. Fresco means fresh. So it is a process of an artist working generally with a plasterer, and that person applying plaster to the surface and the artist painting directly into the wet plaster. The technique uses only mineral colors that have been ground very fine and ground in water. And dilution of the pigment is sometimes made by adding more water, but applying it to the wet surface. Now, why does it have to be wet? It's a chemical change that is necessary for the lime in the plaster itself, calcium hydroxide in this case, combining with the carbon dioxide of the air. And this, this chemical change or this combination produces calcium carbonate, which is essentially limestone. So the pigments become fixed in a matrix on the surface in a crystalline way to form limestone, which is very um, durable, uh, long-lasting, and it's one of the most uh, long-lasting uh, types of painting ever produced. So one thing we do see in this mural are pentimentos, and that is when um, the artist decides that he wants to uh, make a change after the plaster has set. So what has to happen is the plaster has to be carved out and removed and then re-plastered. And usually these are much smaller and done at the very end. You can explore the images and learn more about this project at the online exhibition. We'd also like to thank everyone who made this project possible. Thanks for watching.